Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of the FIFA 21 Ultimate Team Road to Glory, episode number 137 and in today's episode we've got a lot of good things to get into, we've got marquee matchups, we've also got the likes of free drafts I do believe and also some player objectives to complete which have come out in the last couple of days. So we'll start off with marquee matchups and obviously because we pick untradeable players and stuff like that, untradeable rewards every week from rivals. We get a lot of players and we can put them into these kind of SPCs. And like I said previously, we've not been able to do these for the past couple of weeks before Team of the Year and stuff like that because we've been saving the players for upgrade packs and stuff like that. So here are the players now, they're getting submitted. I am putting a lot of rares in as you can see, but obviously we get so many rares from like ultimate packs and stuff like that uh, that you don't, there's not really much need. Uh, there's no like real value of these cards because we get a lot back in return every week so we'll take that uh, some decent packs actually from my key matchups this week i do believe it's like a 45k pack for completing it no actually no it's a 30k pack it's a election players pack but anyway this is the final squad putting a lot of premier league players in there that you'd think are probably worth anything but they're actually not really worth much uh, so we'll take that uh, and also while while we'll just open these packs uh, i've got a few drafts that we've done now drafts I honestly think they're probably the best way of making coins like at the moment. It's ridiculous how like worth they are because obviously if you pack a board, if it's an 83 it's like 7k, if it's an 84 it's like 12k and if it's an 85 you're looking at 15k plus it's ridiculous. So obviously if you can get to the final, like I'm a decent player, I'll probably get to the final like 9 times out of 10, you get better rewards and obviously it is a lot more chance of getting boards in the packs so anyway uh, as the packs are you know unraveling we'll see who we get this one i don't think is going to be much or is it a board yeah it's a board it's going to be italian center back from lazio which is going to be of course a serbia which of course is what i'm talking about if you can get these kind of players in like packs now you are making lots and lots of coins like a serbia's 5.5k that's just stupid and obviously if you're like a Benucci was 85 rated that's like 15k plus it's just ridiculous obviously SBC fodder it's so high at the minute lots of SBCs are coming out and uh, it's obviously making the players more valuable so the last couple of packs now can we get anything from this no we cannot unfortunately it's going to be a non-board uh, anything above anything like anything extra now is probably a bonus like now we've packed a survey for five and a half k we'll take that shadow uh, and we'll probably use it in like summer or use it for summer whatever two packs to go then can we get anything from this? Well, unfortunately, the first one is not going to be a board or anything. So we'll just skip through that, and it's actually going to be uh, Thomas Suchek. So a nice 81 raid, get in the bin. <laughs> and finally, uh, the Rare Electron Players Pack. Can we get anything from this then? Well, it's opening. Yeah, here we go. It's a walkout. It's a blue walkout, so it might not be an 86, but it's going to be a Spanish centre mid from Atletico Madrid, which of course is going to be Saul. So yeah. It's decent. Well, it could have been Coke, but, you know, no my luck. I get the worst one. We'll take Saolo. It's like 10k. This is exactly what I'm talking about. These kind of players are worth so much nowadays. It's just mad. Uh, so we will take that 100% all the way to the bank. Um, that's him gone. And then pretty much the rest of the pack were not really worth anything. I genuinely thought Berenziaga was going to be worth something. I've definitely butchered that name. Um, but you know what I mean? This guy... I thought he was going to be worth something because he plays for Sociedad, but unfortunately he's like 600 coins. But we'll take it and we'll move on. So now we've unlocked Benedetto. So this guy is obviously a league player. He's not going to get upgraded, but he's 88 rated, which is obviously great fodder if we need. And obviously we can use him as a super sub for like this weekend if he's actually any good. I mean, I've used him in a few rival games and he's not been great, but I've seen like okay reviews of him and it's just somewhat different, somewhat new to try. He's different like sort of type player. He's tall, obviously, but he's quite fast as well, and he's got a very deadly strike on him. So he's been completed, and obviously it took me like one or two hours, so it wasn't a lot of time for an 88-rated card, and obviously it's given us XP and also packs in return, and he's 5-star weak foot, which, you know, you love that. Uh, look at the stats, though. The shooting stats are incredible, but also the dribbling. You've got to look at the agility and balance. It's not terrible, and he has got the outside the foot shot trait, so he could be finishing from different angles. Now, we've got a draft here, so this is the first draft of the episode. Um, I'm going to apologise because in the, I think the second draft, it doesn't show the team, but we've got like a rule break, Kane, and a, a Ned Ved, and a Neymar, and that's all you really need to know. I can't remember who else is in it, but this is the first draft for now. Uh, so, what has he got? Well, he's got a decent team, as our Luke. Uh, We've got Neymar in there, so we'll put him up front in game. I'm pretty sure I'll do like a 
a visual representation like later on but we put Royce in there instead of who I want to actually put in we don't actually put Royce in because I've decided that team the years are OP right so we don't want to play him at the back if we can help it so the likes of Sergio Ramos that we've got in the draft we don't want to play him at centre back we're going to play him at centre mid it's going to be that central centre mid so he's going to be like the sort of defensive midfielder in this team and hopefully it does well we are going to play Roberto Firmino at centre mid as well so you're probably thinking you've lost your mind what are you doing but just look at this this is sort of like working with what we've got we're going to have Insigne out on the left forward uh, forgot his name Salah out on the right and then name out front and I think that works great and as you can see here we are just messing about here like putting Royce in there but we are going to use Varane in game at centre back then Ramos at centre mid and then Sanchez alongside him so this is the final game of this this draft and it's going to be an interesting game he's got a nice little team in the year Bruno Fernandes he's also got foot freeze uh, Maximilian and of course Mbappe who doesn't have Mbappe in draft like it's just incredible and everyone pretty much gets him so to start off with this draft we're 1-0 down after four minutes which you're thinking oh no th this is just not a good start you know four minutes on the clock and you find yourself one, da one down then two down like five minutes later through Bruno Fernandes again honestly he's such a good player we've used him a few times on this channel as well it's quality but we do get one back nice heel to heel and Neymar has scored of course it's the saviour and we're back on in this game so it's back to 2-1 uh, can we get another goal well a nice ball from Salah finds Neymar's feet and he's in and of course he doesn't miss Neymar just doesn't miss he's so so good he will probably be one of the best attackers in the game for the rest of the game even with like team of the year cards not team of the year cards team of the season cards that are going to come out I genuinely think he'll still be class uh, and as you can see there he does give me the ball back which is fantastic and when I 4-2 up then make it 5-2 through Mo Salah Mo Salah Mo Salah yes what a man so it's now 5-2 and uh, I do believe it does force a rage quit because I'd be pretty annoyed at that point you know you were 2 all, you were 2 nil up and you've lost 5-2 so we'll take those rewards as well we get a 5k pack but also a 50k pack and that's got a lot of players in because it's a 50k pack so that's a lot of players in the club so the first one is the 5k pack unfortunately we don't put Pele like pie face because we're not pie face you know we don't open a lot of 5k packs uh, we do get D up and then and the Norwich badge and whatever else we'll just discard it so then the next one this is the money maker the 50k pack we're looking for a walkout to make profit and it's a walkout it's also a normal bro a walkout so it's an 86 it's English striker Harry Vardy yeah, it's not Harry Kane, it's Jim Vardy though. Again though, 30 to 40,000 coins is card. But also, Sirigu, he's worth a lot of money, right? You'll just see in a second how much he's actually worth. Um, no, no, it's not even from this one. I've packed him twice this episode. You've not even seen me pack him the second time. But anyway, as you can see, this is the draft where I didn't show the team. I don't know why. But look at this guy's team. He's got Ronaldo and Lower, team of the year, up front on like eight chemistry combined all right suit yourself uh, he's also got a nice little desk and so far he had a decent team but look at this just jamily rebounds off him at like 90 mile per hour and he somehow touches it down and scores don't understand it but then ronaldo's through once again just bearing in mind he's probably on about three chemistry and he's just absolutely destroying it and kulosevsky does finish it off kulosevsky my oh my he's a quality player on this game he's so so good uh, and as you can see i'm getting battered at 3-0 but we pull one goal back from nevred uh, and then of course we do go concede so it's like well it was a nice train no but you never know what could happen in this game kulosevsky has just scored but look at this we get a nice little rebound there kane picks it up rule break kane plays through neymar who's gonna slot it home nice back to 4-2 we're two goals away from hopefully equalizing it and neymar is in on goal what can he do well I don't know how he scored from that tight angle, but it's in the back of the net and it's 4 3. So now we've got one more goal to get and we get it. Bernardo Silva, you're an absolute legend. I love you. But unfortunately, I can't defend for sticky toffee pudding and I've conceded with two minutes to go. And that is, of course, going to lose us the draft. But it's fine because, you know, we'll take the last round rewards. Like, well, we'll get round three rewards, but obviously we lost in the final. So it'll be better than just normal uh, round three rewards. And it's like 225k packs. So you never know these can always be decent sometimes obviously i've just got to walk out so i might not get anything the first one isn't a board don't think uh, we do get ourselves fred 
probably should have sold him. He's probably worth a little bit of coins. But I was obviously quite annoyed that I've just conceded a late minute goal. Uh, so I wouldn't recommend doing that. Don't discard packs when you, when you lose. It's just not a good idea. Uh, the second one was a board, but unfortunately it was only Kostic. Um, so it's not to really shout about. You didn't really miss anything. Uh, and then we'll move on to the next thing. Now it's what if Caputo. Now this guy looks decent from the face of it. But not only that. What if what if cards Gale grids, which is brilliant. I think it's like if your team scores five goals in like five games or six games, he gets a plus two. Surely Sassuolo can do that. I mean, they're like eighth in the league and it's like an average of a goal a game. And they don't have that many difficult opponents. I think they've got like maybe Inter is probably their hardest game. It's something like that. They don't really have many like massive teams to compete against uh, for the next five games. So hopefully... He can get a plus two and that'll mean he'll be 89 rated and he'll have a potential of 91 um pace and 89 shooting he'll also have maybe 84 physical now that for me seems too turn to turn too good to turn down sorry so we'll pick this man up obviously he's a free card he cut it was like an hour or two again of my time and um i would just want really doing all else like i would do my work at the same time like college work and stuff so Golden goal, I appreciate everyone that did it for me, and I did it as well, you know, it were nice, but there were the obviously odd person that were like, no, nope, don't want to quit, mate, but that's fair enough, you know, it is what it is, so anyway, we move on to the next draft, and this is a very, very interesting draft in itself, I've got myself Saka in there, future star Saka, we've used him before, he's such a good player, he's like 2.3 mil on the market, and only, I can only just about afford him, but he's absolutely quality, and I might do him, but anyway, this is the guy's team in the final game. He's got a VVD team here, which is great. But look at all his players off chem. He's got Bruno, Tielemans, Gossens, and also um, Trippier, all off chemistry. So what can we do here? Well, we're going to try and hit the ball back, which we do for a Griezmann, who's come on as cam, which is brilliant. You know, he's absolutely quite there. Then Saka, the striker, plays into the other striker, Cristiano Ronaldo. Who scores? I mean, he's just absolutely quality. He's Ronaldo. Give him the ball and he'll finish it. Then we make it 2-0 through Saka. He, honestly, he's such a good player. He's, he's just brilliant. And then we're going to make it 3-0. And this is going to force a rage quit. But watch this finish. Honestly, Saka. Fair play to you, lad. Honestly, quality, quality player. So we'll take that on the chin. 3-0. Nice rage quit. And we'll get the fourth round final rewards. A mega pack and a 25k pack. It's not the worst rewards in the world. So we'll start off with the 25k pack. Can it give us anything? I want to see another walkout, maybe. First one, it's not a walkout, but it is a board. It's an inform. It's going to be uh, Switz left mid from Wolfsburg, which, of course, is Stefan. Now, that's decent. Um, I'll take it. And as you can see, it's like 14k, so I will buzz in with that. Um, obviously, when you're in inform, you discard 10k. So when you see the inform flare, you're like... Yes, you like you, you, you genuinely just like you're buzzing that you've packed an inform because you know you've put a mid profit. So this is now just a bonus to be honest. Can we get anything from the mega pack? I'd love to see a walkout. Unfortunately it's not a walkout, but it's gonna be a board. And uh what can we get? Well it's gonna be Italian and when it's Italian it's always pretty much goalkeeper and uh it's from Torino and that is the second Sirigu of the episode. But look how much he's worth. I don't I don't know what it is. Right, but you'll see in a set we do get Matinho on the same pack as well, which is brilliant. He's worth like two and a half k. But look at this, right? You go to the duplicates, you see, sir, we go. He's seven and a half k, seven point one k on bid. You just seen there. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous for us. Here we go. But we'll take it. And uh, that pretty much does signal off the end of the episode. Now I've had to record this twice. I haven't even told you this yet because I put the wrong mic in. But anyway, that's that's all that. You know, we've got. I think we've got foot champs for the next couple of days. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, subscribe if you are new to the channel. And I'll catch you in the next one tomorrow.